Today we're going to talk about flaring and brake lines and how you can do it in your home shop. And not just brake lines, it could be transmission lines, fuel lines, uh, a line to carry oil, anything you need uh, that uh, has that 37 degree flare on it for and brake lines. We're going to talk about how you can do it at home. So let's check it out. Okay, uh, I hope everything's in frame. Hope you can see this okay. Um, I think probably the, the best place to start is maybe just drawing some geometry and kind of explaining how the single flare and double flare and AN and like standard brake, the geometry, how it, how it kind of differs. So um, I'm going to draw it out because maybe you're a visual person like I am. There's a chance if you're watching this, maybe you're a visual person, but I am. <laughs> so we'll just take a, a, a line for instance here. Is that totally blown out or can you see that? Anyway, I think you can see it. Uh, anyhow, so we say that's your brake line. The standard flare, it's, it's a double flare. So what that means is when you first flare it, you have a shape that kind of looks like this. And then what the secondary operation kind of comes over and it folds a piece of material down like this. So you've got one, two flares. Well. The biggest difference is that this, on a, uh, on a typical brake line, this is 45 degrees uh, right here, this angle right here. So included angle would be 90. So if you were looking at the tool that flared it, because uh, you've got a 45 over here and a 45 over here, that tool would come down and it would have a 90 degree point on it. So 45 on this side, 45 that side, all in, it would be 90 degrees on the tool. Well, AN's difference, 37 degrees, and the math on that's like 74 and some change, I think. So with that, you have your brake line coming in here, here like that, and then you've got one 37 degree angle, like if you're measuring it here, this angle would be 37 degrees. So your tool geometry is a little sharper here, and it would be like, 74, I believe, 74 and some change, something like that. Um, and it, again, it's only single flare because with the AN, you've got a nut sleeve that goes on here and it kind of receives this angle here and helps to kind of bury it into uh, its receiving end. And then it also has a nut that comes down and tightens against the, the receiving part. So you would have geometry up here as well on the receiving part that is again also 37 degrees. So uh, you'd have this nut, the inside of the nut's 37 degrees, the flare's 37, and uh, the receiving, say it's a bulkhead fitting, the receiving bulkhead fitting would have 37 degrees too. So when you join this end with that end, because of course everything is like threaded, right? When you join those two ends together, all that geometry would kind of compress and it would make a, a leak-free seal. So 37, 37, 37, and all those would work together. And because there is that sleeve that ensures a tight fit, the uh, precision uh, of the nut and the precision of the fitting itself, you don't need that double flare. Uh, I could be wrong on this, but I think a lot of the reason you have a double flare here is that extra material is used to kind of conform to uh, the inside of the fitting and when you wrench it down you're basically like smashing it all together and that kind of holds it all together and, and creates a leak free um, fitting. So with the AN that's the biggest difference is the geometry and it's only a single flare. So your tube comes out here and that's the, that's the, the cut end of it is right there as opposed to the standard uh, brake line or other double flare fitting. You have a piece that comes here and then you fold it back in and you've got uh, basically your, your part comes up or your piece rather comes up and then bends back down in so that's if you're looking at it That's the geometry of the, the difference between uh, Your standard double flare uh, fitting and an AN fitting again the geometry here being 45 versus 37 So I thought maybe we could start there and uh, next we'll go over to the bench We'll take a look at some of the tools you need to do this and how they differ um, Obviously, there's one less operation there but uh, yeah, it's, it's really not that bad. So let's jump over to the bench. We'll look at some line. I'm just gonna use brake line because I'm about to get ready to do the, uh, the brakes on my Falcon. And it's just gonna be 3 16 Nikop. Uh, this will work for anything, aluminum, stainless steel, which is really hard to work with. Um, or uh, the standard brake lines or Nikop. If you're not familiar with Nikop, take a look at that. 
it's a, it's a, it's a good material. So let's check that out. Okay, so this kit here, this is uh, the Blue Point Universal Hydraulic uh, Flaring Tool Set, uh, part number is TF700. I've had this thing for probably 15 years. It may go by another name now. I know Snap-on sells the same kit. Um, like I said, this is a Blue Point, and Master Cool is like the cheapest one of it of, of this. Um, and had I known that, I probably would have bought that. But you know, uh, when you're when you're 26 and you're working at the hot rod shop and the guy in the big red truck comes by and takes half your paycheck, this is what you end up with. Anyhow, so this is the kit. Um, this kit includes um, push connect stuff, double flare, uh, GM fuel line, and metric bubble flares. Um, admittedly, all I've ever used out of here is uh, the double flares and mostly 3 16 So it comes with these um, anvils or clamps and then a uh, an initial flare. So let's see, where's the three sixteenths? And this this is that's quarter. Where's three sixteenths? That might be it. So uh, it comes with for the initial flare, and then remember how we talked about the double flare puts that forty five on it. So you'll come in and uh, let me let me show you how you set up the tool. So with the tool, you would come in, clamp a piece of line in in here. Um, for the initial operation, you just kind of want it flush. There's also instructions here. You don't need to know how to run this tool right now, but just kind of giving you a, a little rundown on it. Um, run it down like so. Get the initial uh, the initial tool in there. Push that first flare. Back it out. Get your 45 on there. Push that second flare, and then you've got uh, you, you've got your your double flared standard brake line. So. The way I'm using it, I think I just bumped the camera. Sorry about that. The way I'm using it is uh, for this particular job, I'm going to just need a single 37 degree flare. And they do sell an adapter for the 37 degree. I don't have that and I didn't need it, but I have a lathe and I actually made this tool, um, I don't know, a million years ago. Um, but uh, it works fine. This is just mild steel. I would recommend if you're, if you're, pushing around stainless steel or something, you either make it out of stainless, that's probably not a good idea, it might gall, or some kind of hardening steel, tool steel or something. But uh, for NICOP or aluminum line, just regular um, mild steel is fine. So what we do with this is we will take uh, our 3 16 part here and a piece of uh, brake line, the line that you, you have, and uh, I would keep it out kind of a little bit proud of the end here. Clamp it down, and then all you need, since it's a single flare, is you'll just bring your tool in, tighten it down, and then pump it up until you get uh, until you get your flare. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. But there, there's now a 37 degree flare on the line. And since you don't need the double flare, you don't need anything other. The only purpose that this part of the tool is serving right now is just to hold the line in place. In other operations, like for the double flare, you can see there's a, an inverted angle on here and it takes the shape of that for that first operation in the double flare. But since AN is a single flare at 37 degrees, we're not using that. So all you need is that tool. And now you've got, let's see if we can get, now you've got a 37 degree flare there right on the end and that's going to match up perfect with uh, a dash three. So three sixteenth line would, would work well with a dash three. So that's all it takes. Now you don't have to use this tool. There are cheaper ways to do it. I know um, if you watch some videos, uh, if you, let's see, who's that guy? Um, Jason at auto edit. He did like a 72 or 73 uh, coupe. Mustang coupe and he did 37 degree flares, but he did it with uh, the single Handheld I mean this is handheld too, but the cheaper of the tools uh, It looks just like the one you get at the park store But it has the geometry for 37 degrees and that worked great for him his, his brake system came out really good So there's no real mystery to flaring for an other than making sure that you've got the right 
tool here, the right angle, which is 37 degrees, remember 37, so 74 totally included, both sides, 37 plus 37, 74. So making sure you have that. So if you have this kit, all you gotta do is have a friend with a lathe or, or go to the machine shop and, and draw this up and have them make one uh, or, or buy one. Like I said, Master Cool makes, uh, makes a kit to, uh, to add on AN flares for this kit. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with any kind of a, a case or anything. They're just floating around. And I think it's like 80 bucks and you can get all the standard line sizes, 3 16 quarter, 5 16 half inch um, for, for AN. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Hey guys, we're going to talk about... Uh, <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.